John the baptizer points to Jesus and tells two of his disciples to stop following him and follow the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Now, one of those men, Andrew, he goes and he finds his brother Peter with the good news of the Christ has been found. The next day, Philip is told about Jesus as the Savior, and he goes and he finds Nathanael. Philip tells Nathanael the same good news, that they have found the Christ, the one who has been promised of old. And Nathanael has doubts. In Nathanael's mind, Jesus, because he was from Nazareth, he didn't make the cut. He had doubts about this guy, Jesus, of could he really be the one that Moses and the prophets promised was coming? Now, this could have been devastating to Philip, but Philip had a simple solution for Nathaniel's doubt. Come and see. Come, check it out for yourself, Nathaniel, he was saying. See, Philip understood he wasn't going to change Nathaniel's heart and mind. That was Jesus' job. So Philip brought Nathaniel to Jesus. Jesus spoke to Nathaniel, and faith replaced doubt. See, it's, it's very natural to doubt news that seems too good to be true. That's why we call it the gospel. It's good news. It is truly the best news that has ever been spoken. Now, we live in a rather skeptical age. Nobody wants to believe anything. And it's normal to have doubt. It's normal to have questions. Nathaniel was skeptical. And if you are too, well, you're in good company. Jesus, through his word, changes hearts and minds. He replaces doubt with faith. Neither Philip nor Nathaniel tried to reason out in their own mind how this Jesus of Nazareth could be the promised Savior. They went to the source. Jesus spoke, and faith was created by his word. Reason and Google, they aren't going to relieve your doubt today. Only Jesus. That's Jesus' job. Jesus, by his word, as found in the Holy Scriptures of the Bible, that's what changes hearts and minds and lives from doubt to faith. We have the witness of Andrew and Peter and Philip and Nathaniel as just a couple of reliable witnesses to prove it beyond reasonable doubt. 